Hello everybody, welcome to the new series. This is Otter. This is a continuation of a series that I had started actually on another mod pack. Well, let's not say a continuation of a series, but rather it's a restarting of a series to redo it on this mod pack. So this series is called Otter, after my character, Otter. Otter is a young Bosmer female who was born and raised in Hammerfell. Her parents both worked for a political figure in Hammerfell in the city of Burkarth. <laughs> that political figure's position was suddenly filled by an Imperial officer, and all the man's staff was let go, thrown out, in the, out of the office. As their housing had been paid for as part of their job position, the family found itself on the streets when Otter was only nine years of age. Otter's father tried to rally the people to get their jobs back, when really what he should have done is just went and got another job and provided for his family. But the Imperial officer found out about him, muttering to others out there, and uh, had him murdered in the street to quiet him. After some time trying to make ends meet as a beggar, Otter's mother began to bring home slightly more money on a regular basis. Home in this case being a blanket flung over a rope hung up in a back alley. It took many years before Otter figured out her mother was involved in prostitution. Meanwhile, let me wait for this guard to go by before I continue, in case he talks to me. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Otter snuck in to see a performance by a traveling carnival, and she was attacked by a small animal, earning her the nickname Otter, which stuck with her. At age 14, Otter took an interest in magic, and she traveled against her mother's wishes to the city of Sentinel, where she had heard some mages were taking on students to train them. Although she showed some magical aptitude, Otter did not last very long there, as her immaturity made them realize she was too young to train. Otter returned to Verkarth, Ver only to learn that her mother had been found murdered in an alleyway while she was gone away. Heartbroken, our Otter made her way to Daggerfall in High Rock. She spent some time on the docks, learning about ships and sailing. One day, she stole a man's ticket and boarded a ship in his place, ending up in solitude. Otter is 18 years old. Her birthday actually came and went while she was on the ship on the way here. And uh, she has been a beggar living on the streets for about nine years now. She's got her slave rags. She's got her uh, the boots. Keep her feet warm and dry. And she's got a dagger. She's got a little bit of food that she uh, nagged off the boat, basically. And... Um, some lockpicks. She's got a lute. She does know how to play a lute a little bit and she can sing. She's hoping maybe she can use that to her advantage. Make some money she has before at times. And she does have a... She does have gold. She, okay, wait, 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 wait. There, there's no way that apparently the game gave me 600 gold more. Um, how do I get rid of the gold? Yeah, Great question because I can't see a way to get rid of it. So let me see here because I originally had like, uh, I don't know. I think I had 39 gold. No, not even. I. 19 gold. Something like that. Um, just give me one moment. I'm Stormcloak Rebels. Every one of them. Okay. As you can see, she does have uh, tattoos on her hands. I think she also has tattoos on her feet. Hey, let's check those out, because I never got to see them very well either while I was creating her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tattoos on the feet as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. All right. Uh, 
not much going on here. I take that mead. I'm harvest these salmon. Not a good idea. Nope. It's for high diving. No. Good afternoon. Nope. All right. Definitely not. Okay. Whoa. Let's uh, take her slow and easy here. Don't want to alert any guards. Time of the day is early afternoon. Okay. Not that. Which is the raw button. Conversation happening here in the docks, maybe? You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Good business for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. Okay. We do have some spells. We've got uh, we got healing. We got fire ruin. We got muffle, calm, and candlelight. and blockiness underneath the water there. I'm not sure why. Yet, okay. Hello. Who are you? If Safia sent you, tell her to piss off. I'm a soldier now. You hear? Uh, who's Safia again? The captain of the Red Wave and the real slaughter fish of a woman. Huh. Was uh, Safia like a slaughterfish? Because she's as ugly as a mutiny and will bite you in the tail if you aren't careful. Right? Is Safia harassing you? Why do you care? Seems like it ain't no one's business but my own. Hmm? Why so defensive? You're the one who brought the name up. All right, you got me there. The meat face used to be my captain, all right. I used to salvage for her. Now I salvage for me. This is a mess. You got empty wine bottles everywhere. I, the ocean may be my wife, but the bottle be my mistress. And what a cruel mistress she be. Mm. 
loves me, leaves me, and gives me the meanest headache in the morning. Okay. And is gold your tavern wench? That she is. Any other observations before I stop listening? Too late. Already stopped. Okay, clean this place up for you. What are you? Some lusty Argonian maid? I'll need a flagon of wine and a punch in the eye before I believe that. How about a pirate song? I told you, I'm a salvager. How about a salvaging song then? Okay, but only if you sing along with me. You should know oh, this God. one. It's called Ragnar the Red. And one, two. Once was a pirate, I read Dr. Sugar promised a woman they went. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? I was singing. Are you sure? I was you singing. Why did you leave the red wave? Why do you want to know? Don't you have mushrooms to grind or something? Not a mushroom grinder. Uh, I'm all out of mushrooms. So you came here to walk, talk. Better open a bottle of spiced wine first. First you talk, then we drink. You're as demanding as a Thalmor. Except they bother to wash themselves. Don't look at me like that. I meant it as a compliment. Can't trust a lizard who ain't got a little dirt in their scales. Eh? Yeah. So I ask your questions, but make them quick. I got the time, but not the patience. Uh, what made you join Sapia's group? It was Sabine. You might think it's funny, but that woman inspired me. Luckily, R likes to talk. I've run with other crew. Met all sorts of shipmates, good and bad, male and female, man and beast. None of them worth a salt pile. When I was living in Elsewhere, I heard stories about the Red Wave and their firebrand of a captain. In fact, I happened to be at the port in Senshaw when the Red Wave docked. On her bow was this armor-clad woman with a shock of hair and the two-handed battle axe barking orders at the men. Sabine Nitty. Now Sabine's a Breton, tiny enough to crawl into the egg I hatched from. But there's something about her. Maybe it's the hair, but more like it's her presence. She has this way of standing over you that makes you forget how small she actually is. She was shorter by half, but stood taller than all. She was a giant. Huh? What did you do? I walked right up onto the deck of the wave and told her I would follow her to the bottom of the Potomac if she would make me part of her crew. Uh huh? She laughed, of course. Said, that ain't up to me, Leatherface. Although, if it were, you'd be fish bait. What a woman. Even then, I wasn't no hatchling, but I never felt so puny. Imagine my surprise when I found out that she, Choris Safia, was captain. Uh, you ever missed the pirate life? Missed the life? Things are never that simple. With anything, there is always bad and good and stuff that ain't either. I miss the smell of the open ocean and the boundless sky. Getting lost and knowing the stars will get you found. I miss the brawls on the ship deck, the salty taste of blood in your mouth. The sight of land when the ale runs dry. The spank of a fresh tavern wench's buttocks. Oh my. That I miss most of all. What don't you miss? What 
what I don't miss is the rattles from the long nights at sea. The blood long from the rats nipping at your tail. I don't miss the stale bread and the bad company. Mostly, I don't miss Safia. Why do the crew members wear blue war paint? Have you looked out at the ocean lately? It ain't exactly green. But it's called the Red Wave. And the Jarl has a swollen ass. But I reckon that ain't her name. But I... I know what you mean, you blasted land whale. So let me explain it for you in words you can understand. The Red Wave is the tide of blood that washes out from every village we raid, every ship we pillage. Huh? The crew don't paint blood on their faces, they paint it on their steel. Well, they told me why you quit the Red Wave. Business. With pirates, there's just one thing you need to understand. Everything comes down to gold. Now, I couldn't tell you the eight divines if you spotted me the first seven. <laughs> but I know enough to know that treasure ain't treasure when it's split six ways. Why was that unfair? Safia had me doing all the work, all on account that I could swim deeper and farther, and I didn't need no potion to do it. Seeing as there ain't no other lizards on her crew, I figured I had all the leverage, so I demanded a bigger cut. When she said no, I said to the hist with all of them, let's see how these open toes like it when the water fills their boots. Not all pirate work is strictly salvaging. Most days, no, but with the war, dragons, the glaciers, and the storms, these ships sink themselves. Used to be we all had our roles. I could avoid raid and still collect my split. Not that I would. They were too much fun. There used to be plenty of wrecks on the shoreline that could go salvage. Just because the loot ain't sunk deep don't mean you can breathe easy. The best treasure is locked up tighter than a vigilance collar. Who's gonna pick that lock? Dorian? That land strider couldn't see his own nose with the muddy water in his eyes. Xander knows alteration magic, but he won't step into a shallow fort without whining about his precious tunic. Besides, the real loot is out there. Underneath the glacial ice. What kind of loot? I wasn't hatched yesterday. My secrets are my own. Shove off. Hoist your sails. Alrighty, guess I'll leave you alone then. By the order of the yard, stop right there. What did I do? Oh my god, like what? what did I do? Take me to jail. A stretch in the castle dower dungeon will straighten you right. I, I don't understand. All I did was open the, the bear trap back up. Why did that get me a uh, a bounty? That makes no sense. Sometimes Skyrim is just very skyrim -y, right? Ulfric Stormcloak, the Rifle High King. <laughs> what a laugh.
pick my lock picks away. You got no gold now? Oh man, they took a bunch of my shit. That's not cool. Yep. Will I get my shit back when I leave? Hmm. Well, that was strange. It's one of those Skyrim things. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got my shit back. Good. Where am I? That's yeah, definitely no. Go in here and see if we can nick anything. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Uh, oh, yes, sir. You grant me a specific blessing? Of course. Um, I'll take the blessing of. Ah. Uh, blessings of the eight divines upon you. We respectfully disagree, sir. Stendar and Zenithar may demand strength from them. The What does that do? Very well. An honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. I see you have meditated on these subjects quite thoroughly. I shall not stop you, but please try to attend to your temple duties <clears throat> as well. Uh, you just gonna watch me? Let us walk in the steps of, of the divine. Remind us of our play. When we forget. Careful not to accidentally steal something. A word, my love. What? Bless you, darling. I fear attendance is down. There are so few worshippers coming to see us. Could it be that the war has weakened their faith? Nonsense, dear. I've had more visitors than ever seeking the wisdom of the hearth goddesses. Ah, that must be it. So many of the men are serving in <laughs> battle. I shall pray to Stendar that they return victorious. Mistress? Certainly, uh -oh. Ephelite. What troubles you? I know you and Father Rorland have many duties to attend to uh -oh. in the temple. But sometimes I feel that there are more important matters to attend to. What could be more important than hearing the prayers of the faithful? Uh, and answering I don't the really know what happened. Mistress, uh. The people of Solitude are destitute. Many are starving and desperate for work. We need to be more active to reach out to them. We took you in, didn't we? We would be glad to extend our welcome to any other who showed your dedication. What more could we do? I know, and I appreciate it dearly. But I can't help but feel we could be doing more. Kinareth has blessed you with tremendous compassion, Silana. You will find a way, I'm sure of it. Let us walk in the steps of the divines. Remind us of our place when we forget.
May knowledge of your... I don't know what this wine case is for, so I'll drop in the boat. I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here. Probably not. Kind of like fell through the map to get here. A word, my love. What troubles you, darling? I fear attendance is down. There are so few worshippers coming to see us. Could it be that the war has weakened their faith? Nonsense, dear. I've had more visitors than ever seeking the wisdom of the heart goddess. Ah, that must be it. So many of the men are serving in battle. I shall pray to Stendard that they return victorious. Let us walk in the steps of the divines. Silana, you don't seem your Is something the matter? Oh, yes, sir. I feel... Many of Solitude's families are having trouble getting by, and the wealthy do nothing to help them. Your compassion is admirable, but you see, we cannot help them all. The poor must path. learn from the examples of the gods and raise themselves up. I respectfully disagree, sir. Stendar and Zenithar may demand strength from them, but Mara and Abella demand compassion from us. I see you have meditated on these subjects quite thoroughly. I shall not stop you, but please try to attend to your temple duties as well. Your temple is very nice. I like that it's warm in here and not wet. And there's light. Let us walk in the steps of the divines. Oh, Anna, you don't see yourself. Is something the matter? Oh, yes, sir. I feel many of Solitude's families are having trouble getting by, and the wealthy do nothing to help Remind them. Remind us of our place when we Your forget. compassion is admirable, but you see, we cannot help them all. The poor must learn from the examples of the gods and raise themselves up. I respectfully disagree, sir. May Stendar and Xenophon may demand strength from them, them, but Mara and Abella demand compassion from us. I see you have meditated on these subjects quite thoroughly. I shall not stop you, but please try to attend to your temple duties as well. Cheese fondue? Certainly yes, please. What troubles you? I know you and Father Warren have many duties to attend to in the temple, but sometimes I feel that there are more important matters to attend to. What could be more important than having...
cloak rebels, every one of them. Well, save again. I'm just having a fun time out here. Making up for the fact that I was thrown in jail recently. I don't know where in the city I am anymore. I guess I was just hearing things. Damn storm folks. Oblivion take them. Every miserable last one of them. You all hanging out here for a reason? A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. Good thing about this mod pack, it's got a mod attached, and I don't know which one it is, but basically it's uh Steal something and nobody sees it, it doesn't show up as stolen in your inventory. Fine is it? Oh. You know you can afford a septum or two. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. It's gonna be important for me to get an axe. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful Another opportunities quiet. working in that bar. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Maybe. What, what did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What happened to the sailors on the boat? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for their heroic rescue from their sad crash. I get it. I put the lighthouse fire. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Hmm. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. It Got would it. be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Yep. Not completely sure that's something I want to do.
Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn, Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. You're in debt to Ernskar. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure, I'm sure. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Yeah, it's clearly not you. Arkarth? Solitude Sawmill? Solitude Sawmill, how far away can that be? We're in Solitude. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Um, I'm here for the delivery job you posted. Of course. Return. By the 22nd. Anytime you need four days to get that done. Arms or well, it's it's down there as a ways, but not bad, not bad. Armor. My forge never rests. I think we're going to attempt it. Be careful, but it'll give us something to do until the shops all open up here. Or goods and wares of all kinds, and all can be yours. We can sell our stuff right here. Hey. Come, come and see what goods I offer. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? What do you got for sale? Take a look. May your road lead you to warm sands. Far I have traveled to bring you these fine goods. Come and see what I offer. The sheep merchants are so nice.
over here in our ingredients. Never been much of an alchemist, but I could always attempt it. on this side, yeah. Yeah, it's right down here. I'm gonna have to wait. How could he be 5,000 feet that way? Okay, that's got to be incorrect. That's a stinking long ways. According to that, it's right here. Not sure I understand. Is he your dagger? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Is the Solitude Sawmill, right? I'm going to be 5,000 feet this way. I don't understand. Uh... Ah, wherever you went, you're uh, back. A weapon from you from Baron of Solitude. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Ow, oh, you just hit me in the head with that. Well. Let's see some ground textures. Uh oh. Alert, alert, ground textures missing. Ground textures missing. Uh oh.
So, we were on the docks area earlier before we got arrested to haul into the city. There's there's a lot to the docks, I do believe, is there not? You making piggy noises? Guard? to it. Well, it's still early enough. Let's go on a jog down here and see if there's anything of interest. Things I'd like to do. Buy a bow, some arrows. Up the solitude from there. Roof. Seen enough back here. Head back this way. Try this here entrance to solitude and see what's up with it. Wine, the Hot taste daily. of home and party. You puppy. Fresh fish. Go branch. Straight from the fjord. 
What do we need? We got 18 already. Yeah! That was easy. Rogvir's execution. Yeah, I think I missed all of that. People to see in places to go, huh? Later then. Oh, it's gonna be wet. It's gonna be a wet one. Metallica's raining. Puppy dog follow me now? Cool. It seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. What can I help you with? What have you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. Hunting bow, 257. Oh, I still can't afford one. Pick up the pickaxe instead. Anytime you need arms or armor, my force never left. Yeah, it's a little rainy right now. Just gonna, uh. Gonna stay here for a little. Oh my goodness. Now, let's make a run for the inn. Hopefully, they'll, uh, they'll let me sleep there. I mean, I've got a little bit of money, so. Need something? What do you need? Try this. with practice you're a traveler correct no nope, i've been, been there one? sorry oh well thank you here this is for you are you mean alchemy no no mostly i'm just a simple herbalist lami over in moth it's something about might run before my daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Never met her, but I could try to get more info. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain... What have you got for sale? Take a look. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. All right, thanks, lady.
Beeren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. I was being hauled in by the guards. I didn't really see anything. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. have a lot of gold, so let's see what you got. That might help. Take one of those, because I can I can wear those. I think that's gonna be it for us. Thank, Thank you. you. Come back. Bits and pieces anytime. Fancy fancy. Um What are you doing that for? I don't know what the problem is. I'm not doing anything. Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Those are the salt people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where attire is concerned. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very... Nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. So what should I wear if I'm going to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace. Oh, that presents course. an opportunity. Of course I am. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. That's easy enough, I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Yeah. Thank you for your patronage. Hmm? Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Oh, Radiant this is like Raymond that? has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Hmm. Finally. Yeah. I guess I'll just head out with things. Or nothing. Okay, we need to get something to wear to the, the Blue Palace, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, doesn't mean we're going to the palace. Hope that's okay. Alrighty. Come on in. Just the first thing is, um, take a seat and get the cold out. Okay. A little light on the situation. Mm 
brilliant. It's been a good week, my boy. Loud customers mean good cheer, and good cheer means my a full was till. All family I ever had. You know, I had to retire so and leave you to run the skiver, son. But the crew of the Red Wolves, my know, family Father, now. There's a whole world out there I want to see. Why not let me run the skiver? I already know lots about it. Ha! A girl running a bar. Don't be ridiculous, Minette. But you always say you want more. Archer Hunter is needed in the Dragonborn Gallery. Well, that's something I could look into. Thank <laughs> you.